I want you to think back to February 23rd, 2021. Todd Zombies HQ posts a video called New Standalone Call of Duty Zombies Game Leaked. It's finally happening. In it, he shows a tweet made by Tom Henderson saying, There is a separate Call of Duty Zombies project in early development that is currently not connected to any title. I was excited, ecstatic, elated to hear this news. Finally! A COD Zombies game, all to our own. I couldn't wait until it happened. That is until a few months after Vanguard Zombies launch, when Zombies YouTuber Chopper suggested this idea in his autopsy review of Vanguard Zombies. Now, one good thing I would like to point out, upgrading your perks in-game instead of from a menu is an awesome change. The way the process works in doing so, just buying it over and over again from the same perk machine, uh, not so much. But I love the idea of upgrading the perks in-game far more than a permanent menu upgrade out of the game. This was the only concept in Chopper's whole video that I disagreed with, to an extreme degree nonetheless. Upgrading perks in mid-game is a horrible idea in my opinion. Already in CW, I'm building my way through Pack-a-Punch tiers, Armor tiers, and 8 necessary perks to buy since the cap was removed? Now he suggests that I add to that? No, I said. Although, he does specify that the way Vanguard did it was bad, and would prefer a different way of doing so, but he doesn't suggest any ideas. So with that, I'm left to my own imagination as to what he would want. First, the most dumb way to do it would be to copy Vanguard's approach in which every tier for every perk would have to be bought from the machines or Wonderfist separately. That is 40 times for the good perks and 50 times if you wanted all of them. I couldn't even begin to figure out how to balance that point wise. The second thing I could think of was maybe salvage, but then I'd be spending more time at the bench than I'd want to. The new covenant system? That system has such a poor implementation anyway where it felt like BF4's change for the sake of change approach, without making the thing they changed inherently better. Perks, AATs, the first initial cost of PAP, all suffer from this. And my distaste for such a system invigorated me more when I saw Mr. T Lexify's reaction video to the same vid, where he seemed on the fence against the idea, but could still be convinced. Now, one good thing I would like to point out, upgrading your perks in-game instead of from a menu is an awesome change. The way the yeah, process I mean, works I, in doing so, just buying it over. I think Chop is, Chop didn't really like the Ether, the, the raw Ethereum stuff, just because, I mean, it's a one and done type thing. I don't know if I agree with the upgrading in-game. I know that's very similar to how COD Zombies used to be. I just don't like buying the same thing multiple times. Chat, I really am not a mechanic of that. BO4 buying pack punch multiple times for one gun? Nope. Buying multiple perks for the same perk? Nope. I just don't like that upgrade process. I don't like that. I would ra I personally would rather have the Cold War system than in-game upgrading like this. Unless the upgrades are more of an upgrade. Like it's a big upgrade. It's big leaps. Like these upgrades for the perks, they're not big. They're small. And that's why they suck. Machine. And they uh, cost so a lot of points too. I couldn't think of a way to possibly implement this in a way that I liked. Until I did. It was from this idea where I started to think and create my own ideal COD Zombie standalone game. I started to ask myself, what is it people want in a COD Zombie standalone game? I'd hate to go back to the World at War BO2 days, where progress was mutually exclusive to each map. I loved the system in BO3, despite it being bare bones showing progress outside of the maps where I was able to individually customize every gun I wanted to my liking. Through this, I knew I was getting stronger with each game I played. This system was built up upon in BO4, which was slightly better due to the operator mods. I'll give it that much credit at least. But the best implementation was in Cold War Zombies. Customizable guns beyond all that of the past, EXP contributing to player levels no matter which game mode, and the Aether Crystal upgrades, mmm, they were delicious. B but hold on, there's still one problem with them. They were permanent. Once you've reached the strongest you can be, that's it. There's no going back unless you use another account. And after Treyarch said, it would be a shame if we stopped the tier 5 upgrades, implying they could have added more, that just cranked the gears in my mind even more. Also, I couldn't remember which streamer Treyarch told this to, so my sources do trust me. What if there were even more tiers? What if we could freely choose what could go on them? 
and that was when it hit me. The best thing to ever go in a COD Zombies game that combines the concept made in BO4 and Cold War for an ultimate game that warrants endless amounts of replayability or challenge runs. But we'll get to that later. This journey started for me when I searched up on YouTube on what people wanted in a standalone zombies game. Uh, yeah, no one did that. And due to a huge binge of Shark Tank I had been going through at the same time, I saw this as an opportunity. This was my chance to get the gears rolling. I could be the one to start the conversation. And what better way to do that than throwing myself straight into the YouTube and editing deep end. You don't have to agree with me. Hell, I'm not even telling you that this is the right answer. I'm just tired of sitting around and whining, hoping Treyarch makes a good COD Zombie standalone game with nothing to go on. It is my hope that I at least act as a catalyst that will get all the ZTubers to voice out their opinions, their interpretations of what a COD Zombie standalone game should be, even those I disagree with. <coughs> Chopper, I am an ancient architect, a casual co-op main, and this is what I believe would be the ultimate COD Zombie standalone.